back on. There we go. Tommy is here. So ping any questions in the chat box as we go through. Hello, everyone. My name is Tommy Charles, a Youth Mapper's Regional Ambassador in West Africa and the National Coordinator of OpenStreetMap Sierra Leone, which is a registered community-based organization. Together with the efforts of other resilient youth mappers, humanitarian organizations, and mentors, we have been able to establish and continue to grow an open street map community here in Sierra Leone, despite the challenges we are faced with. In 2016, students from two colleges and staff of the Sierra Leone Red Cross Society received open street map training, and thereafter, the first youth mappers chapter was established in Sierra Leone, the Student Geographical Association Youth Mappers Chapter at Frobe College and the Sierra Leone Red Cross Society was providing necessary logistics to host mapathons on a regular basis. We also pushed to register as a community-based organization in order to gain a legal status. Unfortunately, due to the changes in the cyber policy of the Sierra Leone Red Cross Society and the pending rehabilitation of the GIS laboratory at Kobe College, the community had challenges to get venues, internet, and all the necessary logistics to host mapathons. This led to a halt in the activities of the community and affected all the gains we had made over the years. This did not discourage us, as we sent out appeals to solicit funds and continued to map individually. After a series of applications, we were fortunate to be selected for the HOT 2020 microgrant for the sustainable revival and expansion of our community. The goals of the microgrant are to sustainably revive our community by organizing refresher trainings for existing youth mappers chapters and other members within our community, expand our community by establishing new youth mappers chapters in other tertiary institutions, procure equipment such as computers and internet gadgets that can be used to complement mappathons, and get an MOU with the GIS laboratory at Fobe College so we can utilize their space as our permanent venue to host mapathons. The core members of our community, we are set to start the implementation of the project, but we are obstructed by COVID-19 restrictions. Learning institutions, including colleges and universities, were closed. Transportation to other parts of the country was banned, and we had a series of lockdowns. Therefore, the project was halted until we started procuring the equipment, which included two laptops and four internet gadgets. Due to the resilience of our community members and taking COVID-19 restrictions into consideration, our team decided to coordinate the mapping of health facilities. 68 health facilities were mapped during this drive. This was achieved by sending out applications to interested individuals that were willing to map health facilities within their communities. Selected individuals were given data collection training and introduced to OpenStreetMap and Mapillary through WhatsApp and Zoom. The information collected was made available to the health sites of IU team for them to be added or updated on their platform. During the course of the tight COVID-19 restrictions, we managed to organize virtual seminars and trainings on OpenStreetMap and also emphasized the importance of being a youth mapper. This led to the establishment of two new youth mappers chapters at the Canadian College and the University of McKinney. After the ease of COVID-19 restrictions, our team organized live training with the newly established youth mapper chapters at their respective campuses. With the procurement of two laptops and four internet gadgets, we have succeeded to get a memorandum of understanding with the GIS laboratory at Fobe College. This has given us the assurance of having a permanent venue to host our mapathons, meetings, trainings, and other activities in Freetown, which is the country's capital city. In the midst of the COVID-19 crisis and other uncontrollable circumstances, we have trained up to 30 new members, established two new youth mappers chapters, Revive one out of three of our previously existing youth mappers chapters, get a memorandum of understanding with the GIS laboratory for a permanent venue, 
encourage our members to apply for the HOT Data Quality Intern, for which two of our community members have benefited, renewing our certificate of registration, and have made over 1,000 edits and additions to the OpenStreetMap platform. Our journey has been slow with uncertainties, but we are graciously progressing and are hopeful of achieving all our goals at the end of the microgrant. The learning curves have been thrilling and our team and community members are grateful. Our journey to have a sustainable community continues. Great, thank you everyone. Um, you should hopefully have seen Dana's message in the chat. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time um, to take questions, but Tommy's email address is there. Um, we're out of time on this room, so please head back to the main room where you'll see our keynote speaker. The link is in the chat there. Thank you, everyone.